So yeah, 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 yeah. Sitting here with this nigga Rizel. Yeah. Got a mixtape dropping. Hey, Pinsky of Perfection, man. June 15th. June 15th. Niggas just kicking it and shit in the studio. Hey. This gonna be on the tape? Yeah, this one gonna be on the tape. Uh, okay. Yeah. Says this on the tape and shit. Just listening to everything you got, nigga, you know? Shit. Get it, you know? Yeah. Made my words into birds, man. That's just one slogan I got on there. Legendary thoroughbred, man. Ooh. Legendary thoroughbred, man. Close encounter, see his shit, man. Hey. I just said, oh, I'm about to edit that shit out. <laughs> so all the rest of the merchandise. Hey, nigga. Hey, you got a black. I got a black. Oh. I, I meant I grabbed one when I was at the stove, but I was like. Put me through and hell, you smoke it. Shit. Hey man, I want to give a shout out to my pops too, man, cause man, he be my pops connected, man. And, um, he, he, like I said, I ain't even gonna give y'all too many moves and shit, but. Tell hey, them nothing. That's, that, that, huh? hey, that's that shit on the way, man. Hey, how, how, how's you doing? How you doing, Jane? Shit, that's just stressful, man. Like, just working, man, for real. The kids running everywhere and trying to focus on this music and shit. Just you know, that's beautiful, though. I like the kids running everywhere. That's life, man. Yeah, it is, it's man. Life. Give you it give you a certain type of reality, man, because it's like. And your music, if you're not kicking real shit, like you can't, if you don't have reality going yeah. around, you yeah. feel me? How can you spit about real life if you're not living in reality? You feel what I'm saying? A lot of people live in this life where they want to be somewhere else and they're not comfortable in their skin. I feel you. you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, they're not faced with reality. They're faced with something that they want to be or somewhere that they'd rather be. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being some, wanting to be somewhere different. Yeah. But, you also got to take take in consideration. You got to be yourself to get into that place That's dope. where you want to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. And you feel like music for you like helps you, uh, I guess, cool. be that person. Like, right, right. Like my whole music, my whole music thing, man. Like if you just take the time and just listen to my music and things like that, man, you will see that my music is based on reality. Yeah. You know. So like, what's what's your goal for your music? Like, what are the things you want? Man, to do? my goal for my music, man, is to be heard, man, because all that. Blah, 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 I, man, I hate that <laughs> you want to understand shit. what you actually saying. You feel me? Shit. Like, <laughs> like, man, I done have people compare me to J. Cole, man. I done have people say like, you know what I'm saying? When I listen to your music, you give me chills, like. But I don't. And my response is, man, like, I'm just keeping it real. That's yeah. it. That's it, man. And I just got a certain. I got a certain bar that I set for myself that I won't go below this bar. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like this is the bar. I won't go below this bar because if I go below this bar, I won't be me. I won't be yeah. real. So, like, so is that what motivates you to like write and shit? Is to continue to push yourself exactly. to a certain point? And that and that and my music is my vent. I've been through my music. Yeah. So I might be going through some things I can't, you know, I can't talk to nobody about, and I end up venting. In my music, I feel you. I feel you, man. That's shit. Hey, real shit, man. Playing the music today, like. How you feel like man, everything? The, the music today, man, is it, it's controversial, man. Like, you got some music that some people like, and I can't like. I can't get. I can't get with the music. Okay, why? I can't get with the music, man, because it's like... Yeah, that's the shiny, you don't like that? I can't get with the... No, man, it's more like the little Yachty rappers and, <laughs> and things like that. <laughs> yeah. I feel like, man, if it don't... Like Big Chris said, man, if it don't touch my soul, I can't listen to it. You know, so, I mean, it's, it's more like that. Shit, well, I mean, shit, you talking about 
being real and how you can't feel the day's music. So, shit, what's like, what's the specific topic? Like, what's your music about? My, you, music, you about? my music is about day to day life. My music is about, you know, uplifting people or, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's uplifting people, like, man, like, cause I know if I say something that's real, somebody else gonna feel what I'm saying because they're in reality. And a lot of times, reality, everybody that's in reality can can have common pains or common hurts. And yeah. that is what my music is inspired by. I feel you. So, shit. Shit, that's cold. Shit, so that's who your music is for, basically? My, like, music, is, my music is for everyone. Mm. Black, white, Mexican, short, tall. Midget, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's it's for everybody, man. I can't I can't put my music on one person, male, female. I can't I can't do that because because then I would be sexist or I would be racist or I yeah. would be in my mind frame. That's how I look at it. And I feel you. Pain doesn't have color. You know what? That being said, I heard one of your songs, uh, Black Tears, mm -hmm. and. You said that that song was for, is for everyone, but from what I heard, it sounded like you were targeting a specific group of people when you wrote that song. So tell me how these other groups of people could relate to your song okay. in a way. So Black, the, the title Black Tears, that's yeah. coming on Penske of Perfection, June 15th. So Black Tears, okay, so you have a normal type of pain. Oh, he broke my heart, he did this, he did that, she did this, she did that. But then I separate the pain levels. You got that type of pain, then you have a type of pain of, oh, my mom died. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm living with my mom having seizures every day. Yeah. I'm living with these deep, dark pains that not just hurt your, hurt your heart or hurt your feelings, it hurts your soul, you know? Like, let's just say mm -hmm. you walk down the street and you see somebody get killed, right? Yeah, it'll bother you for a little bit because you just seen somebody get killed. But if you walk down the street and you just seen your brother get killed, that's a whole nother different type of pain. Yeah. You feel me? So. Yeah, that shit makes sense. Shit, so what artists inspire you? I mean, shit, probably J. Cole, I'm assuming. Since yeah, man, J. Time, Cole, like, my man. Five man, fucking times. Yeah, J. <laughs> J. J. Cole, my man, man. Like, J. Cole, um, Big Crit. You feel me? Yeah. Sometimes I can feel what Logic's saying, you know. Um, but as far as like, man, like Kiki Wire, man, Erica Badu, you know, my Alicia Keys, like Alicia Keys, I knew her album she just dropped, man. That shit was something real. Yeah. Um, man, it's just like, man, if you can, if you got that soul feel to you, that soul feel is what really makes me. You know, enjoy art. enjoy artists, enjoy your personality, enjoy your your type of music. Cause like I said, it don't have to be rap. Yeah. Because you know, son, like man, I was listening to some uh some I was listening to a country song one day, and man, the story he told in that song, man, was just was like so down to earth. It kind of it, it hit me, right? Mm -hmm. Like I heard this song. Um, once old? I was seven years old. Oh. No, nah, it wasn't. It wasn't that song. But I, I, I that song you talking about? It, it was a song. I can't even remember the name of it, man. But it was about his, um, him. But something happened with him and his wife, and then she left, and then you know what I'm saying, telling all the pains he had. And it was all built. And it was had a video for it, and it was all built in this one video, man. I, I just, man, I, I felt it. I felt it to the core, for real. Let's go, shit. Yeah, I don't know what song you're talking about, but I just yeah, man, I do look, enjoy, hey, I do hey, look, hey, that shit just music. popped up on YouTube, man. Yeah. I was clicking in the little sidebar you get sometimes. I clicked yeah. on that shit. I was like, oh, this yeah, shit. Like, shit. I enjoy country music for that very reason. Just right. the writing in it is is so fucking immaculate. Right, right, perfect. man. It's beautiful. Real shit. shit. So if you could sign to any artist, who would it be? Thank you, know J Cole. Yeah, you know. It, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but like yeah. people. Man, and I don't want you to, to, to think that J. Cole is just the only person out here that has, like, I can tell you like this. J. Cole has this thing where he wants to push his artists, push them to do better. Like, he'll go in a studio and he'll be like, hey, we about to do this. I bet you I'm going to smoke you on this track. You feel me? And 
just his way about doing things, man. Like I look at interviews and documentaries on him and he shows this affection that I show, you feel me? So I can connect to him on a whole different another level than just music, just his actions alone. Yeah. So Yeah, I understand that shit. Well I mean shit, that being said, like, you feel like there's anything stopping you from achieving what you want to achieve? Nothing. Nothing, but I can say this army lifestyle, man, because if you didn't know I'm in the army and like my, 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 my prayer, I want, my thing about it is why be in the army and be a specialist when you can get out and be a general, you feel <laughs> me? And then on top of that, man, like a lot of people don't know in the army, man, like you got to ask them to leave. You know what I'm saying? If one of your homeboys die or something like that, they tell you who's your family. Like, you can't just, if your homeboy on the block, y'all grew up like brothers. If he passed away, you tell them, they be like, no, you can't leave that. You didn't put this on this paper. You didn't put him on this paperwork as, as, as him being this, this, that, and the third. You know? Yeah, true that. And like, if, let's say I want to go do a show in Atlanta. I can't do that show in Atlanta because I have to, you know it's what I'm saying? It's outside of my it's, it's yeah. Exactly. So... I mean, I ain't gonna lie. How do you deal with your family life and shit? Just being in the army, like shit. You got two wives, got two wives. Ha! <laughs> you got two kids and a wife and shit. <laughs> so, like, yeah, how you balance all this shit? Music, it's, army. It's hard, family. man. It's hard, but just like everything in life, man, you find you find time in the things that you want to do. Mm. You find time in it, and I just feel like, man, like my song "Legend," man, said as of lately, I ain't really seen no competition. You feel me? And yeah. when that being said. I feel like I can do it. You know what I'm saying? Whether I have, I mean, just because you got you got to think about it. People have, everybody has some type of obstacle in their life, whether it's big or small. I was watching this Tyler Perry movie one day, and uh, it was like on your GPS. God works like a GPS. Um, it'll tell you where your destination is, but it don't tell you all the stoplights. It don't tell you all the red lights. It don't. It don't tell you everything that's gonna have that moment of you know what i'm saying moment that you stop yeah to get where you actually have to go yeah you feel yeah. me so i mean i just look at it like that man like it's everybody gonna have issues everybody gonna have problems but it's up to you to determine if that problem is going to be the end of your destination okay that's cold man shit yeah. so like um coming up did you have issues finding like uh producers or a studio or anything like that <laughs> Cause you ended up building your own shit. Yeah, you know man. What I'm saying like, so, uh, man, I used to stay with my dad, and it would be the funniest thing, cause, man, I used to um, record. I had a laptop right here. I had some Sony headphones that I got from Walmart, and I broke the headphones right, and I plugged it up to the mic, to yeah. the computer for the mic, and I was rapping over this. I was rapping over the headphones and I threw the cover over me to kill all the white noise in it. So I just been, I was rapping like that for a minute, man, because at the time, wasn't nobody, wasn't nobody trying to fuck with me, you feel me? So I just noticed that I got to fuck with myself. Yeah. Ain't nobody going to do it like you anyway. So, oh, I feel you, shit. That's so, the same shit, nigga. That's why I fucking made my own beats. You, you feel me? Like, Florida, like, ain't nobody got no beats for me. Yeah, if they did have saying? a beat, they... Cause you gotta think about it. Nobody's gonna exceed your expectations like you because you know exactly what you want. You in the studio making a beat, and you be like, "Damn!" You listening back to it, and you be like, "Damn, that cymbal sound ugly as fuck." Yeah. You can go back there and take that cymbal out. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. So. See, yeah. Like shit, being your own motherfucking creator, all that. You, you, even on somebody else's shit, you exactly. still. Cause since you make beats, you still know how they arranged. And what you like and what you don't like. Somebody got some shit in there you don't like. Real Take right, that shit man. out, man. Shit. So have you noticed your fan base increase at all on uh, on your uh, Instagram and your social media? Yeah, social man. Media? Actually, actually, I have. And like, it's like every time I let somebody hear my music, it's like another fan pop up. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like it's getting around slowly but surely. Yeah. You feel me? So I mean, it's. It's always a good thing, man. It's just always a good thing. Because it's like, my, not saying that I do it for my fans, but I do it for my fans, but mostly I do it for myself. But 
it feels good when I had I can see the other uh, another fan pop up. Yeah. You know, and they come. I right feel you getting recognition people. from people. Right, you're getting recognition nice for your noticed. hard work. You feel me? Yeah, so, it is nice to be noticed for sure. Straight up. So, if you could compare yourself to anyone that's not J Cole or Big Crit, who would it be? <laughs> it would be, I would say, most deaf. It have to be most deaf because. Sometimes, man, I listen to most deaf man and the things that he say be so powerful, man. It is ridiculous. Yo, that's actually shit. I did not expect you to say that. Yeah, he's man. one of the, he's one of the greats. Like he's legit. Yeah, one man. of the greatest rappers. And ever. I feel like he's so looked over. That man. niggas, yeah, do not pay like, attention to. Like, exactly. Most Def is that nigga. He a monster, man. That, and that, he's that nigga. That motherfucker's so lyrical, man. It's he crazy. Is. He is, his whole style is swag. That's, that was a good fucking answer, nigga. Yeah, straight up. That was a good ass answer. Well, shit, my nigga. Done with all the questions, nigga. That nigga included the motherfucking hey, interview. Hey, man. Hey, Rozelle, man. Um, Instagram, at Rozelle Music underscore. Uh, Facebook, Rozelle Music. Hey, I love you.